Good Tuesday morning, Mount Olive Church family, friends, everybody joins us online for another week of devotions, and I hope everybody's having a great day, great start to the week. Um, going to continue on here with uh, Brother Brett's sermon uh, that the Lord gave him Sunday. Get my papers out of the way here. Um, and a uh, wonderful message. Appreciate Brother Brett. Um, I know he was a little bit a little bit nervous about uh, doing the virtual. Let me get my screen up here. I know he was a little bit nervous about doing the virtual and not having many people in the sanctuary. It's a little bit different, but man, did the Lord bless him, and he done a great job. Uh, so thankful for Brett and what he done. Um, wonderful, wonderful uh, devotion by our pastor, Pastor Maca. Let's see, Maca Namanus, Maca I don't know what all they call him on on the broadcast this Saturday <laughs> during the ball game, but uh, pastor done a wonderful devotion uh, yesterday, Monday, uh, the uh, snow and using the snow in the scripture in Isaiah. Great. It was, it was powerful. So um, the point I wanted to hit on here was uh, actually come out of Brett's first point of the message. And, uh, and he was talking about being a useful vessel. And um, you can see, I picked this picture out here to put on the screen. It talks about for Lord, for the Lord to use, and and Brett used this scripture, uh, Ephesians two ten, in the very first part of this, very first part of this scripture. I love this. It says, "For we are His workmanship. We're God's workmanship." Um, you know, you may look at me and you think, "I don't know what God was doing right there." Hey, but I am God's workmanship, and so are you. Uh, and He created in Christ Jesus and the good works which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. So God created us as his workmanship. We are we are formed with his hands and we're we're perfect and we're formed for a reason. And I loved how Brett brought that out uh and, and when he talked about that in his very first point. Um but the point I want to get to here and is and it's it still ties in with the first point that he had uh, but it was talking about being a useful vessel, and he asked the question, you know, what are we, what are we transporting, or what are we carrying to others? Um, you know, we're God's, we're God's work of art, okay, first and foremost. And He created you, He created me uh, for a purpose, and we've all got that purpose. Sometimes we struggle with that. Uh, if you're like me, you've struggled with that anyway. Of, of, you know, maybe you've went throughout your life, and it's exactly what is my purpose, and. You know, as you get older and you begin to seek God's direction for your life and you let him feed you and, and, and mold you into what he wants you to be, that becomes more clear. And you begin to see exactly what God has brought you for. Uh, some, some, some people, he has formed a work of an art to make a great leader. Um, you know, I think, uh, I think of our pastor and, uh, you know, not anybody can do uh, the work of a pastor. Um, if, if I've said that right. Um, but you know, it's a, it's a leadership and servant job. Uh, but it's a, it's a leadership job that requires, um, it requires effort and work on, on, on his part to, uh, to seek God and God's vision and God's direction and, 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 and to be an example. Uh, so some people are created to, uh, lead in a form of singing in worship. I think of Brett and Sarah and Andrea Rose and some of those that do that. And, and, you know, just so on and so forth. Everybody's created for a different purpose, but we all are created for a purpose, uh, whatever that might be. But I want to get on to this part. What are we transporting and what are we carrying to others? And if you really want to look at that, uh, in a way of, of what do you offer others and not from yourself, but what do you offer others from God? Um, and you know, sometimes we transport different stuff. Sometimes we carry different stuff to others, depending on what our life is like. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So sometimes we get to that point. Um, Monday evening, I was telling Lauren, <clears throat> excuse me, my oldest daughter, um, she was, uh, kind of had a hard day and, uh, you know, sometimes people will talk and say different stuff and some, some things had been said and it kind of had her kind of had her down and out and, and, you know, I was trying to tell her and, you know, just explaining to her, you know, sometimes you just, you, you got to let that stuff go. Uh, and I told her, focus on this, focus on God being the center of your life and focus on the people that you can love on. 
you can't control when somebody talks about you, uh, but you can let that affect what you're carrying or transporting to others. If it affects you emotionally and it gets you frustrated and it gets you angry and it gets you discouraged, that will affect uh, how you're transporting stuff to other people. And I, I began to explain to her, focus on those people that you need to love. There's plenty of people out there that need love. Don't pay attention to the outside noise because here's the thing. Somebody's always talking. Somebody's always going to have something to say. And somebody's always uh, in this world, things are going to be trying to tear you down. Um, but focus on what you can do. Uh, focus on being that useful vessel. Don't let the words of others and discouragement and things like that come into your life that you can't be useful for God. Focus on what you can control. So I'm going to ask you this. This is my challenge to you all through my devotion. What are you transporting or carrying to others? Somebody, somebody in your life today is going to need you to transport or carry some of God's love to them. They're discouraged. They're beat down. They're having struggles in their life right now. They need you to transport love to them. They need you to be that vessel that God created you to be. Okay, that's my challenge to you all. Listen, I hope everybody has a great day. Have a great week. God is good. God is still hearing our prayers. Uh, God is still on the throne. God is still saving people. We're seeing people baptized. God is still healing people. You've got a doctor's appointment this week or something coming up or finances, job troubles, whatever it is. You give that to God today and let him have it. You just ask him how you can be a useful vessel for him. I love each and every one of you with all my heart. And you all pray for me and I'll pray for you. I love you.